Do you know where your underwear is made? Thailand. It's definitely not the United States. Where my underwear is made? I'm assuming China. Any idea? Um, I don't know. Do you know where Hanky Panky is made? Right here in America. And the skinny on making underwear in the United States is that it's a pretty unusual thing to do. 100% made in the USA? Let's say 99%. 99%. All right, all of our labor is here. Our products don't need a passport to get into this country. They live la vida local. From design to lace. This is what we call our signature lace. Front to, well, not exactly back. We do a lot in animal prints because they are wildly popular. Hanky Pankies were born and bred in Queens, New York. How many pairs of underwear do you make in here a day? Uh, we do about five, 6,000 pieces a day. Did you ever think of outsourcing to China, to India? No. Call us old-fashioned, but this is how we feel about keeping our employees employed here in this country, keeping the contractors in the New York metropolitan area busy. We're very proud of that, and we'd like to keep that going. According to the Commerce Department, Americans spent $350 billion on clothes and shoes alone last year. $350 billion. And get this, 98% of the clothes we wear are made overseas. When I found this job, it was like, wow, I actually found something that's, you know, still here. So I jumped out. Do you ever get sick of making women's underwear? No. <laughs> Competitors like Hanes, Made in Form, and Warnico, maker of Calvin Klein underwear and Olga, all manufacture underwear overseas. If you look at the labor component, which is upwards of 40% of the overall cost of manufacture, the average minimum wage factory worker in the States will make about $1,200 a month. Overseas, it's about $120 a wow, month. Wow, a tenth. One tenth. For American contractors, the high cost of production can be lethal. How much of your business did overseas competition take away? All of it. But 15 years ago, Hanky Panky came calling. But it's very important. It keeps me alive. It keeps like trip the families going. It gives them a source of income. If without this, what, what would they have done, you know? It means jobs, no doubt, but you'll pay a premium, 20 bucks a pop. We've been in business 35 years and we're growing um, and we've been profitable every year that we've been in business. So I don't know, it doesn't get much better than that. In New York, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.